Okay, okay, for today's first workout for this week, you're going to need dumbbells, you'll need um, your straight bar with some weights on it, and you might use a band too. So, the first thing I want you to do is a single leg squat. Oh, you'll need your bench too. So, you can put one foot up on the bench, and I'll go this way. Behind you, okay? <laughs> so, one foot on the bench, and you're doing single leg squats like this. I want you to kind of alter it a little bit where you're going down, come up a little halfway, back down, and up. That's one, okay? Remember, drive through your heel. Don't let your knee go past your toe. You don't want that. You want to be coming straight down. Down, up. So I want you to do um, 10 reps on each leg, okay? Maybe use uh, 10 to 15 pound dumbbells. See how it is. If you get through that with no problem, you can increase um, your reps, you know, about to 12 reps on that, okay? Right, so that's your first exercise. You're going to alternate that with the dump, with the barbell roll. So this is where you're going to use your bar. I have this little bar and I have two 10 pound plates on here. You probably want at least that much. You don't want to go any lighter than that, okay? This bar probably weighs about 20 pounds. And so with that, this is 40 pounds. So what you're doing is you're bending over. Get like a nice stance, not too wide, but nice solid base. Bending over, your back is flat. You can see me to the side, your stomach's pulled in. And you are rolling the bar right into your stomach. You keep your chest out, I don't want that. No hunching, keep your shoulders down. No shrugging, okay? So roll it right into you. Keep your elbows close to your body. And you should feel this. Really concentrate on this pull. You should feel it on your shoulder blades. Really pull that, okay? So you're gonna do four sets of that, 12 reps. So you're gonna alternate this lunge on the bench with this barbell roll, okay? So that's for your first two exercises. So when you're done with those, with those, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come off. We're going to do a deadlift with the dumbbells. We kind of did this before. Again, with this kind of thing, you want to use a little bit heavier weighted dumbbells, okay? So maybe 25 pound dumbbells, 30 pound. And we've done this, so you're just doing a deadlift, which means you're sliding the weight down, down your legs and close to your thighs. They stay on your thighs. And you're sitting back at your butt, okay? Your weight is in your heels, not on your toes. You can even lift your toes a little bit if you want, okay? Do this as if you're like sitting back on a chair. You're trying to reach your butt back. You're not squatting like this. You're pushing back, okay? So you're going to do four sets of that, 12 reps. And you should be feeling this when you do this. You know, right in your butt, your hamstring. That's what that is. So right here, I really feel it. And the further down you go past your knees, the more you're going to feel it, okay? Then you're going to do an alternating press on your bench. So you can leave your bench with your dumbbells. You're going to lay on your bench. Remember, you want your feet to be able to be on the ground flat. And so since this bench is high, I've got to have a flat. You could put your feet up on your bench if you had to, but it's really better to keep it down. Anything, anything you do in these presses, you do not want be arching your back up. You want to be keeping your stomach pulled in your back flat against the bench. You're just doing alternating presses. Okay. You need four sets of these. Twelve reps. Now if you're getting all four sets, twelve reps, it's time to go up on your weight on your dumbbells. Okay. Um, I know for you 20 pounds is kind of hard. You know, challenge yourself. Do 15. If you're getting, you know, to 12 on, all, on your uh, sets, you just have to go up and you start slow. You go up and do 20 pounds, maybe six reps, and you just work up on your reps, you know? Okay, so you're gonna alternate your deadlift, what I showed you, with your alternating press, laying down on the bench, um, and then you're going to do a uh, curl. You're gonna use your bar again. This is where I want you to put the band on your bar, okay? Just kind of choke around the middle of it. You're going to stand 
band in this band. And depending on how far you stand on your band is the more resistance you're going to be adding to the band. If you don't want resistance, your feet will be close together. And you can see how loose that band is. But you really don't want that. You want to, I'm like spreading apart my legs and making that band tight. Elbows are in the sides like I'm, you know, blowing them. They do not move. And I'm just curling up with my bar. Okay? You do three sets of this, 12 reps. Now, if you during this, you know, during this time, this is not a challenge for you, you can add weight to your bar if you'd like. But if it is a challenge, you know, you can just do it this way. So really think about this, keep your keep your good form, keeping your elbows in, okay? So remember, it's the deadlift with the alternating press. You do one set of those two alone, and then on the second set of that, you'll add in your bicep curls for the last three sets, okay? This is kind of circuit work that you're doing, so you need to work fast between. So have all your stuff out so you're ready to move from one thing to the other, so you're not resting, okay? Because that way then you get your heart going, and it's a good, you know, kind of aerobic workout for you. All right, the last thing I want you to do is called a plank circuit. So we're going to come over here. Now, you've done planks before. Remember, you used to do planks like this. Okay, this is a plank circuit, which means you're going to do a series of four different planks in this circuit, okay? It's going to be combined with the leg raise. So, the first thing you're doing is push up position, right like this, and you're going to raise your legs just slightly off the ground. You're going to alternate. So that was one. Then you do ten times. Two. Three, four, five, you go to ten, okay, like this. Then you're going down on your elbows. There is no rest between this, you just go. And you do this ten times. Okay, then you go on your side. And you lift ten times. And then you down on your elbow. And you lift ten times. And you need to do your other side. So now you need to turn over to the side. Oops. Ten times. Elbow. Ten times. Okay? And then you got it. Now, if you have a hard time with those side planks like that, because they are kind of difficult, you can do it from your knees. Up on your arm. Ten times. Lifting on your elbow ten times. So you decide if you need to do that. You know, if you can do it up on your arm, do it like this. Even if you can't get to 10, if you get to 5 or whatever, that's fine. You know, and the position for this should be your hand should be right under your shoulder. Okay? You fall over, but that's what it should be. Okay. That's it for your first workout, so good luck, have fun.